What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, I have got some wonderful, wonderful news stories about the Digimon trading card game. And life is good. And we need to start off with what is both excellent news and a slight boast from me. Because I told you so, ladies and gentlemen. I told you so. I told you the other day about the Evolution Cup. And how the Evolution Cup had sold out basically instantly. And I told you in that video that we needed to have a little bit of patience. That Bandai could not realistically have expected to sell out quite so gosh darn quickly. That it was unrealistic that they would sell out quite so gosh darn quickly. And that we needed to see their reaction to it rather than just judging them on it selling out super quickly. And the wonderful news is that what we've got is an announcement whereby, hello Digimon Tamers, to allow more Tamers to enjoy our events, we are increasing the player capacity of the following September Evolution Cup events. Three of the ones in North America, the one in Latin America, the one in Europe, and the one in Oceania. Now, you might notice that there are only three of the ones in North America that are having the capacity increased. There are actually four there in total. The one, the one run by Top Cup events on September the 18th is not being increased. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but there is almost certainly a reason. I refuse to believe that they only wanted to increase three of the four. There is probably some logistical issue why that cannot actually be um, increased. Which is awesome. This is excellent, 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 excellent news. And once again, it proves what I've been saying all the way along. And maybe I'm a chill or something like that. But actually, this is good. We know that Bandai are listening. We know that Bandai care. We know that Bandai are taking steps to try and make this game as enjoyable as possible. And this is just one example of it. Now, the sad news is that those three, even with the increased capacity, have still unfortunately gone and sold out. Or at least some of them have. As I'm sitting here at the moment, I've just looked at the Carter Magica one for September the 19th. And it seems to be letting me register, which is awesome. Unfortunately, the other two do seem to have sold out. And there's a decent chance by the time you listen to this, the Carter Magica one will have sold out as well. But we can't really judge too harshly on this one. Yeah, fine, they're still selling out. But the fact of the matter is, they are increasing capacity. Remember, there is a limit. There is always going to be a limit to how many people can be in a tournament. There is always going to be a limit to how many rounds a tournament can have. There is always going to be a limit to how many tournaments can be run. You cannot run infinite tournaments. But this is essentially step one. Step one, you increase the capacity of the tournaments you're running, see what happens. Step two, I would imagine, is running more tournaments and seeing if you can increase the capacity again. And like I mentioned in my previous video, step three is where you have to start introducing things to essentially limit the amount of people entering a tournament, whether that's a lottery system or something else. But Bandai and Digimon are clearly listening. They have clearly heard us. And this is excellent. I mean, it's actually sad news for people like me that registered nice and early. Because, of course, I really want that top 64 Agamon. And with more people in the tournament, that means it's going to be harder to make top 64. And less likely I get that Agamon. Boo! Etc. But actually, it doesn't matter. Because the most important thing about Digimon is that everybody joins in. And as many people as possible can play. And that we all have fun. And this is wonderful, wonderful news. And as I sit here recording this, and again, there's no guarantee this will stay like this. But as I sit here recording this, there are still spaces at the European event. The European event run by Tournament Center that was sold out the other day has had its capacity increased. And now there are spaces still available in the tournament several days after this announcement went out. This announcement went out three days ago. And now there are still tickets available for the European tournament. Incidentally, this is going to this is going to impact how Bandai think. If they increase the capacity 
and it either doesn't sell out or it sells out right before the tournament, then you're probably not going to see more new tournaments and more capacity increases. But if it keeps selling out and keeps selling out, you probably will. Now, a little piece of news we need to have a little bit of a chat about. As far as I'm concerned, this is kind of awesome news. They have gone and revealed the next set of sleeves. Every so often, they go and reveal a set of four sleeves. And there are a new set of four sleeves, which are launching in Japan on Christmas Eve. Why they're launching in Japan on Christmas Eve, I'm not entirely sure. But the reservation has gone up on Amazon over in Japan. Do remember that Amazon will ship around the world. I have had good experience with Amazon. I'm not telling you to shop at Amazon, but I am telling you that Amazon Japan, if you want to buy Japanese products, they have proven for me to be a pretty easy place to go and order stuff. So, you know, with these sleeves, it's the usual kind of thing, right? If you want to have sleeves with these particular Digimon on, etc., this is awesome. If you don't, don't. I mean, the Terriamon Lotmon for me is a particular highlight. Those ones seem absolutely brilliant. But I'll be honest with you, none of them are Pulsemon. And we've seen Pulsemon sleeves. And those Pulsemon sleeves are a thing of absolute beauty. For me, those are the number one sleeves. But there are new sleeves here. And if that's the kind of thing you're into, wonderful, wonderful news. And speaking of wonderful, wonderful news, we need to finish off having a little bit of a look at the Tamer Party Volume 3, which is going to be starting this month. It is casual in-store events aimed at encouraging new Digimon Tamers to pick up the game. Now, again, these are uh, tournaments which cost money to run and all of that. If a game is crashing and burning, you don't run these events. So the fact that these events are being run should tell you what you need to know. Seriously, if the game is failing and about to go, you don't run events like this, throwing money at them with exclusive promos. It's generally not a great idea. This is a the game is going well, let's keep growing it kind of event. And this is excellent. These special Tamer Party store events allow new players to learn all elements of the game from experienced tamers joining the fun of the digimon card game learn how to play from existing digimon tamers compete against fellow tamers to improve your competitive skills and receive exclusive prizes for participating in a demonstration or game now i don't exactly know if any of these are happening near me if they are i'm definitely going to try and pop along because this is excellent, excellent news. And if you are around and you see these going on and you are a more experienced player, do pop along and join in because popping along and joining in is how you get to teach new players and teach new players is how the game grows. If the game grows, we all win. There is basically no situation in which the game grows and we lose. So, yeah, this is awesome. The bigger the game gets, the better the game gets, the more we all win. And this is absolutely excellent. For anyone wondering about those promos, they are alternate art promos that did come out in Japan a little while ago. The Greymon is a reprint of the one from BT1. It has an inheritable skill that gives this Digimon, as in the Digimon that has evolved from it, an extra 2,000 power. It's fine. It's not a particularly great card. It's not one that's seen a huge amount of play. But if you want to beef up some red decks, it's a pretty nice option. The Sukaimon is actually a very cool card. And it's not the most exciting of cards, but it's a two cost to play normally level three. It came around in BT1 as well, I should mention. And these cards aren't exciting, right? They are literally just two cost to play level threes. But they're good. And they help you. And they help you get rolling. And they help you get up to your bigger levels. And these two cost level three see a bunch of play. Incidentally, elsewhere in yellow, your other options are Salomon from the starter deck. Which is exactly the same other than the name and the artwork. It is a two cost play normally. Zero cost to digital, 3,000 power, level three yellow. So again, it's, it's essentially the same card. Except different numbers. So you can play four of each. And then in BT4, we got Falcomon, which does go up to 5,000 power, but is also a two-cost to Digivolve. So, not quite as good generally, but...
But in Rookie Rush decks, the fact that it's got 5,000 power will protect it from some of the counters to Rookie Rush. So actually, there is an argument to play it in those kind of decks. And for that reason, it does see a bunch of play. And then the third and final of these promos here is the Karamon. Now, this is the Karamon that came around in BT2, the original Karamon. And it's got an inheritable skill whereby when you play another Digimon with the same name as this Digimon, you draw a card. Clearly meant for Diaboromon decks because Diaboromon decks play a bunch of tokens. So the theory here is that you evolve this Karamon into a Diaboromon. And then every time you play a Diaboromon token, oh, I've played a Digimon with the same name as this. Yay, I get to draw a card. That is basically where they're going with this. So these are cool cards. They're completely inessential promos. They're alternate arts of cool but not spectacular cards. They're all kind of cool. They all have reasons to play, but none of them are absolute staples or rare cards that are super hard to get hold of or any of that. Yes, I know Karamon was a rare, but it's not like that Karamon is super valuable at this stage. So you don't need them. But you can go along to the store and help new players learn to play and, and get some cool alternate art promos. I cannot be the only person that thinks that's a pretty cool idea. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. I want to know your opinions. I want to know basically anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching Wasi Plays.